people. Today is Friday, June 16th. And on today's episode of What Piece of Furniture the Cunninghams are moving around in their house, we are going to be moving the china cabinet into our kitchen. So my task while Gavin is at work, and I've got my cute little helper, Emberlyn, playing with a trash bag, I have to empty out all the drawers so that when he gets home, we can move it into the kitchen. Sorry for my voice. I have a cold. I'm getting over a cold. Um, and sorry for the lighting. It is cloudy and raining outside. So, it is 7.30 in the morning. And I'm emptying out a china cabinet. So, let's see if I can get this done before Gavin comes home. So, I got that drawer done and this drawer done. And somebody doesn't want to help me anymore. So I think that this is going to be quite harder to get done than I expected. Okay guys, here's an update. I got this tech drawer all emptied and I got the bottom half of the china cabinet emptied from like the board games and puzzles and stuff. And I'm resetting a laptop that I'm going to give to one of my friends. And yeah, that's about where I am right now. It is 9.37. So. Hi guys, I just got home. Um, I see that Jordan is making some chaos in our living room, but that's fine. We're going to move this thing into the kitchen apparently. So I'm going to finish cleaning it out. Okay, so that lasted two seconds. Um, we realized we need a bowl because Jordan's sourdough, we were going to make sourdough pizza, but she has to double it in order to use it tonight. This is our first round, by the way. We're kind of excited. So we're going to make sourdough pizza, but you have to double it first. In order to do that, we are going to run out of space. And our glass bowls that we ordered for Amazon still haven't aren't here. So we need to go get a glass bowl from Dollar Store really quick. Future me here. It's June 20th, so four days later, and they were supposed to come on the 15th, I think, and they still haven't come. And so I like did a chat with an Amazon associate and he was like, yeah, they didn't have it at like one processing center, so we had to order it from another processing center. So you might get it in two days or it might take a month. It would have been helpful if they could just put that on, like, the part where it says, like, running late and give you a reason. It just says, running late. So we still don't have the bowls. Oh, oh side note. Guys, look what I just got in the mail. I'm on the Dean's List at school. We're both Dean's List students. Emmys. An alpha list. All right, let's go to Dollar Store. Let's go bye-bye. Maybe Daddy will get you a toy? No. And it's just on only $45, which isn't honestly terrible for us at the dollar store. Let me say bye-bye. from our big cabinets into the china cabinet to clear up some space and make it more organized. What do you call this now that it's not a china cabinet? A hutch? Hutch, yeah. Sure, go with it. 
So why are we doing this? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess... Okay, so something that we did that we decided when we had Emmy did that when we had her we were gonna do a very all-natural lifestyle um, we tried to avoid most processed foods and I'm not gonna lie we've done pretty bad with that because it's very much easier to grab like Gerber's baby puffs and things like that but I think we've just realized that with the so like here we have all natural ingredients like flour, sugar, brown sugar. Instead of buying, you know, a, ba a, a thing of cinnamon rolls like from Walmart's freezer section, you can make them yourself. And so Jordan started her sourdough here. Like tonight we're doing a sourdough pizza. Um, we'll know, and, and one thing I like about that is we know exactly what's going into our bodies. And instead of being, you know, we tend to talk a lot as Americans about, you know, oh be healthy and stuff, but reality is, is most of us don't know what we're eating on a regular basis. So st honestly, starting now, we're trying to do like a pantry and closet clean out, um, just to start buying like all natural substances that are no that we know exactly what it is, where, where we got it from. Um, you know, Jordan's going to start doing most of our goods from home. Um, and I told her yesterday, like when we go start going grocery shopping, rather than buying like a pizza. We will buy the ingredients to make the dough and everything else ourselves. We're hoping eventually to actually, once we're done with school and everything, to start our own farm. Like one thing that we want to do is start homemaking and start homesteading, I guess, more. Which pe a lot of people laugh when they hear that term homesteading because, you know, they're like, well, you need to have a house and a farm and you live in a two-bedroom apartment. Homesteading is not so much about, like, where you live. It's about how you live. And we've discovered it to be very easy actually to live an all natural lifestyle with natural ingredients even in an apartment it's just about taking the time and the commitment to do so you know like for instance one thing we've done is obviously we cut all breads and we've been eating homemade breads for the last two weeks and even that i can tell a very big difference on the blood sugar how it impacts me because store-bought bread is mostly preservatives and when you eat those preservatives it's actually crazy to see the way your blood sugar spikes and remains high for hours after eating it. I guess this is the process to begin our own all-natural lifestyle that we hope to maintain with all of our kids. I mean, it's a little easier said than done, but we'll do it. It's been a minute since we've updated, sorry. Jordan's eating raisins. So, let me show you what we did. Current state of our kitchen, trying to, like, clean out and organize and everything. talk about the living room. Oh, God, it's bad. But here is our new kitchen hutch. Which actually looks super cute. So, so I have to have the flour and sugar in the big jars. Yeah, we're gonna replace those with like big jars. But I have these all organized by like oils and rices and breadcrumbs. A couple extra jars. I don't know what we're gonna do with yet. All Jordan's baking stuff. Um, I put the rest of some of her baking stuff in here. And then we have uh, this will be for utensils. And then we have some dry goods down here. And then like plates, cups, and bowls down in here. I haven't done anything with this drawer yet. I don't know what we're gonna use that for. But it actually is coming out super cute. And then I got her stainless steel measuring cups from the dollar store and I organized them all on the side with these little gold hooks. So I thought it looked super cute. But all together, it looks really nice. Now that phase of a project where you're like, oh my gosh, what have I done? We're getting there. <laughs> But we're getting pretty close to done. Things wouldn't be difficult, except that one is definitely getting into everything and anything. So like when you have old knives that you pull out of the cupboard and like you thought you put it up high enough and you didn't, you definitely didn't. <laughs> My husband's gone mad. He put the leaf back in our table. Or does it Lala is eating puffs. And our pizza crust is in the oven. Gavin's making lemonade. Just cut up an onion, my veggie chopper, and Lala is still working on her puffs. <laughs> Look at all those teeth. Jordan just finished our sourdough pizza, and it looks amazing. Emmy's having some dough. I'm gonna eat some. I just finished the lemonade, so I love it.
Emmy's getting ready for bed. She just had her bath. Um, probably watch an episode of Greatest Anatomy and then go to sleep. Um, we're getting up early to go to Trader Joe's. Um, it's like almost an hour away, but we want to go there to go grocery shopping. So, thanks for watching today. I hope we maybe inspired you to do a little kitchen renovation, if that's even the word. But y'all have a nice night and.